Are you ready? The Cornelia Stephanie Show. Wake up to love your call to action. Join Cornelia as she empowers others to live heaven on earth. Cornelia teaches listeners how to be the authority over yourself, embracing your inner guru. Feel yourself uplifted into limitless expansion, integrating ease and grace in a changing world. This show will cover topics such as unconditional love, your physical body, how to be in extraordinary relationships, create financial and emotional wealth, embracing entrepreneurship in the new earth. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Cornelia Stephanie Show. I'm Cornelia, and I have an exciting, exciting show planned for all of us today because we're getting really, really clear on what it is that we want to manifest in the new earth. And so a lot of us, we've got, we've been at this for a while, or even if you're just getting started, um, there's a lot of clearing going on. And so you have to really know exactly what it is that you want and have a clear picture, a clear visual in your mind, uh, what it is that you want to manifest so that it can appear in your reality. One of the things that I'm finding working with clients is that uh, people send, one of the biggest, biggest mistakes that people make is they send mixed messages to the universe. So saying that, you know, I want to have a relationship. I don't want to have a relationship. I want to have a relationship. I don't want to have a relationship. That kind of energy. I want this new job. They're not going to hire me. Or I, you know, it's it's this continuous um, wishy washy um, kind of energy that um, isn't clear. And so, what I want to do today with this show is to assist you in getting clarity on what it is that you really want, and then have a no nonsense energy and hold strong in that energy so that you can really um, be that vibration and then the universe can deliver a perfect match to you. So I've been working with people and I've been helping people achieve this and um, it's, it's it's a really powerful and exciting time that we're in. Call into the show today, 1 800 930 2819 and get in line and let's get let's get clarity on manifesting what it is that you want in your life. So before we we go uh, any further, I want to kind of make a, a few quick announcements. Um, tomorrow, tune in to Transformation Talk Radio on my other show uh, called Living Heaven on Earth. It's also the Cornelia Stephanie show. I'm going to be with my co-host, Don Diviniste. And tomorrow is part three of a series that Don and I have been doing. Don's mother and stepfather was murdered uh, six years ago uh, by a family member. And we're talking about the whole story and how does one recover from something like that and continue on living life without being plagued by um, severe depression or um, just, you know, not, not wanting to keep going. So uh, it's been an incredible show so far, and uh, tomorrow is part three. So be sure, Transformation Talk Radio at 12 noon, or you can also go to my website at CorneliaStephanie.com, and you can tune in there as well. Another announcement I want to make, and this is so, so, so exciting, because next next, uh, month on this year's show, uh, which is the first Thursday of every month at 10 o'clock, Next month, I'm rolling out a very new and very exciting program called The Millionaire Imprint for Women. And this series is going to be a three-month series where I'm bringing you powerful, powerful uh, women that are um, creating a new financial movement for our collective and healing all of the shame and energy that women have had around money and um, abundance uh, for for decades. And so that's what's beginning here next month, first Thursday of the month. Be sure to sign up because I'm going to be introducing you. I'm going to be one of the, the facilitators as well. 
I've been working on this for a very long time, and it's my creation, uh, the Millionaire Imprint for Women. And um, I'm going to be bringing you uh, Susan Glavin, Samantha Brown, and Momo Yasute. And we are going to be taking you on an exciting journey, and you're not going to want to miss it. So put it on your calendar now. So what's going on on planet Earth right now uh, in, in our manifesting time? So uh, the manifesting that's happening, I, I want to be clear. Everything is happening on the inside right now first. So if you're not a follower of astrology, I can tell you that there is a lot of inner rearranging going on. Because I'm, I'm a student of astrology. I'm, I'm not an astrologer, but I absolutely love it. And I use it to my advantage to, um, to really, you know, tune into the planets and find out what's going on. And that's kind of fun. It helps me to uh, uh, understand, oh, okay, right now a planet is retrograde. And so we've got, we've got uh, Mercury, which is the planet of communication, going backwards, going retrograde. And communication again, is that inner communication of um, revisiting what it is that's important to you, how it is that you want to communicate to the world, how you're communicating your manifesting abilities, and how clear are you, right? So, and then there's Mars, and Mars is Mercury's brother, um, and Mars is the planet of action. So Mars is where we take action. Mars is also called... Um, you know, the God of war. So either we take action in a frustrated way or we take action in a clear, focused, direct way. And so part of what, um, what this retrograde cycle right now is all about and how it's serving us, because everything is happening on the inside. So if things aren't showing up in your life right now, this is not the time for outward manifestation. Part of why I wanted to do this show for us today is to assist you in clearing uh, what's going on on the inside so that when these planets start going direct, that then you have the clarity and then you can just really start taking action and um, focusing on what it is exactly that you want to manifest. So... Um, one of the things is uh, one of my clients that um, I recently was working with wanted desperately had been looking for a new relationship for a long time and um, and but didn't believe that it could be possible to uh, that he could actually have what it is that that he wanted that he could actually meet the person that he could be in love with and um, have a great relationship with somebody that could that he could really be in harmony with, and so I had been watching him uh, communicate these mixed messages continuously to the universe by saying, you know, I want a new partner. I really want a new partner. I'd love to have a new partner. I'd love to have somebody to spend time with, and then the next day. He would say something like, um, who would want to be with me or who would this person be and, and who knows how much luggage this person has and what kind of um, baggage this person has and would this be a good match for me? And so it was a continuous situation like that where he was going back and forth, back and forth with sending mixed messages to the universe. And um, that's what a lot of people do, they send mixed messages because on some level, they don't believe that it's possible that they can actually have what it is that they want. Because there's four things that are playing out and it has to do with your physical body. So you've got your physical body, which is going to be a physical manifestation for what it is that you're manifesting. You've got your mental body, you've got your spiritual body, and you've got your emotional body. And all four of those bodies are playing um, a direct uh, concert, if you will, with what it is that you're manifesting. All of them have to be in harmony in order for you to manifest what it is that you really, really want. And so changing your uh, beliefs, being willing to change your beliefs and, and, and surrender and, and be open to... Uh, the magic and the miracle that there is something 
that is absolutely right for you, that the universe absolutely wants you to have your heart's desires. Do you have that belief? So even for you to believe and know that your will, what's in your highest good, what's in your highest, um, what's in your soul's development, what's in your soul's growth, what's in your highest good is absolutely the will of the divine. And if, if you can believe that and know that, then, then you're moving into alignment with that vibration, right? Because you're not keeping it out here separate from you by not believing it's possible. You have to first really believe and know that the universe has your back, that you're absolutely going to uh, manifest what it is that you want, but you just have to be really clear. And then you have to have a no-nonsense vibration, energy, and frequency that you're emitting out to the universe by saying, yes, I'm ready. I'm absolutely ready for this relationship. I'm ready for this job. I'm ready for this new career opportunity. I'm ready for financial abundance. I'm, I'm, I'm in allowing. I'm in a state of allowing. That's, that's the whole point is allowing yourself to move into a state of allowing. That has to be the key word. That has to be the key vibration. So moving into a state of allowing, looking at your beliefs, what is the mental talk that's going on? And taking a look and seeing if your emotional body, how do you feel about it? How do you feel about what it is that you're manifesting? So um, does it feel, is that your feel good? How would you feel if you manifested the perfect relationship? So what I did is uh, for my client, um, I gave him, because he was always in his head about um, uh, trying to give details to the universe. And so I said to him, I said, why not just make it your perfect match, your perfect match, whatever your perfect match is, allow the universe to, to pick that for you and, and allow your perfect match to match your vibration to show up for you. And that's exactly what happened. He ended up manifesting, receiving his perfect match. And he's now been in this new relationship for two months. And they're absolutely, absolutely in love. And it's a beautiful story. And that's why I wanted to share it with you all today. For those of you that, that want a relationship, that really want to um, uh, find a partner that, that, you, that you can resonate with and that you can be in harmony with having the perfect mantra, being really, really clear, releasing and letting go of beliefs that no longer resonate for you, and speaking that mantra, being with that, and emitting that frequency out. And I promise you that the universe is going to deliver to you your perfect match. Thank you for listening and tuning in today. We're going to take a quick break on The Cornelia Stephanie Show. Call in to the show at 1-800-930-2819, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie show and we are getting clear with what it is what it is that we want to manifest. And one of the other things that I wanted to talk about really quick before we take our caller, we have a caller on the line is that I want to remind everybody right now in the energetic frequency that we're in. We've just been in this huge eclipse cycle and we're still in it. So we're, we've got three eclipses. Every two weeks there's been an eclipse and there's a lot of rearranging happening for all of us. Lots of choices being made. You're, you're choosing on a higher level where it is that you want to go and what it is that you want to experience in your life. And so there's lots of clearing that's happening. And the clearing that's happening on, um, on a collective level right now is karmic. It's clearing all the karmic debris that we've had for the last 26,000 year cycle of, that has played on the history of this um, existence. We're clearing it out and we're clearing out karmic debris from our ancestral lineage. And that's really been a 
an important piece to understand so that you can you can understand that hey you know if if what something isn't manifesting for you yet there's still clearing that needs to happen so that you can move in vibration and in alignment with your true abundance that comes from the inside out because in our past our ancestral lineage has been about scarcity poverty consciousness not not having the belief that we can manifest and live our dreams not believing and knowing that we're absolutely worthy and that we're absolutely deserving of every goodness that is is that we're ready to be a receiver for and we're, so we're clearing out that that energy that's still being cleared out and that's also happening so there's a lot of things happening in um in this vibration we have to understand that um it's all a process again of moving into allowing. So right now, I want to be able to um, take our caller today. Benny, would you um, put put our caller through? Yeah, most definitely. We'll take Janet calling in from Bow, Washington. Hello, Janet. Welcome to the show. Janet, Hello. thank you, Cornelia. Yay! Thanks for calling in, Janet. That's awesome. Thank you. Awesome. So. You've been listening to the show and um, you've been hearing what we've been talking about as far as the clearing and um, getting clear on manifesting what it is that you want, right? Yes, I have. Yeah. And it all and, sounds so easy. <laughs> it all sounds so easy. Yeah. Okay. So what are, what are you trying to do? Well, uh, as you we're talking about astrology. Of course, I'm an astrologer, so I'm fully aware of all the different things that are going on, you know, astrologically. And uh, I have a business that is an astrology business, but I can't seem to get it to the next level, at least financially, to a place where it actually supports me. And uh, I don't know, I don't know why it is I can't seem to do it. I have tried various things. I've been an astrologer for. 14 years or more. So, you know, I, I've just been sort of beating my head up against the wall trying to figure out how to get my business where I want it to be. And in the process of that, there are various things that are showing up for me that are perhaps pathways to getting uh, the, my business to the level it, where I want it. But I'm also running up against I don't know, some kind of block or fear about doing those very things that I know will create more prosperity. So I'm kind of in a double bind, if you will. Good. I, I like how you, how clear you are with saying that you're in a, in a double bind. And so are you ready to release this energy today here now? And are you ready to, to put this on your calendar that as of today, <laughs> Uh, that this is where the program actually changed for you? Uh, yes. I am okay. very willing and ready to do that. Absolutely. So okay. I'm going to circle August 2nd on my calendar right this minute. Yep. Circle that on your calendar. And so what I want to ask you is that um, since you said that there's there, that you're in a double bind, let's get let's get clear again on what the double bind is that you said that it is. The one thing that you said that it is, is um, that you haven't been able to do it to, you haven't been able to manifest in your business. Is that right? Yeah. I haven't been able to move my business to a financial level that I really want. And then when things, the second part of that is when things show up that are pathways to getting there, I feel like I can't quite do those things like there's something blocking me from actually taking the action that the universe is presenting to me as a pathway and anyway so that's why I call it a double bind I mean I want to get to this dollar amount you know per month but I'm also sort of stuck in you know or caught up in not being able to quite do what it is that I want to do to get there does so that make sense yeah, it does. So um, would you hand over, would you would you be willing now to surrender the block? <laughs> yes, absolutely. So 
because I I have already been been clearing the energy in your energy field, but you also have to surrender the energy. You have to release the resistance and let go of this block. To let go of this block of this absolute success that is there for you because you you want to move beyond this, right? Yeah, I absolutely do want to move beyond this. I'm ready to move beyond this. Yeah. So now um, releasing and surrendering this block, releasing this energy of fear of success, fear of that you're going to um, to take your financial uh, foundation into a prosperous um, a prosperous way of living that's going to support you. All of the places where you have not been able to. Uh, Embrace that before are being cleared and released right now on this call here today. Yay. Yay. And so, um, because the other, the other part with this whole thing is that you said that, um, that you are not, um, that you haven't been able to do what it is that you needed to do in order to make your business a success. And uh, I feel like that is a, um, is that really true? You know, there's something, something you said earlier uh, about uh, wishy-washy, right? That you were talking about sending mixed messages to the universe. And part of that was that if you weren't, in alignment with the belief that you can have it, that of course, then you're going to get mixed messages or you're going to get uh, mixed results, let's say. And I feel like maybe that's where it is for me. That is there this block that says that I can't do this. Um, and, and, you know, there's a part of me right there that, that really feels like that might be the key that okay. there's a belief that I can't make the kind of money that I say I, I, I want to make. Okay, so now, since that's so clear, since that's so clear, Mm -hmm. since that's the clarity that you needed right there, is that you have a belief that, that, that says that you don't believe that you actually can do it and that you actually, um, are able to do it, right? Yeah. So let me just tell you how quick and easy it is to change a belief. The belief, the, the belief that said, I can't do it. I can't do it. This is a habitual habit of thinking. That's what is a belief? A belief is thoughts that you've been thinking over and over and over and over again. And you've been applying your habits to thinking those thoughts and believing that. So that's that's been the storyline that you've been telling that I can't do it, I can't do it. I have a belief that says that I can't do it and these are the thoughts and now you're you're bringing your action to it and then you have evidence in your reality, in your movie that shows that, see, here it is, I can't do it. I can't do it, I can't do it, it's not happening. So this is a habitual behavior that you've played out. So now in order to change that belief, I can't do it, uh, I'm asking you here today with everybody listening, are you willing? <laughs> are you willing, Janet, to consider the belief, the new belief? Are you willing to consider the new belief that you can? Yes, I am. So do you see? Just feel that. Just really feel that, that you can do it. Because see, that's that's actually the new vibration now. That's actually your new story. And that's going to be your new habit that the same habit that you used to have of I can't do it and then looking for evidence to to reflect your story as being real to now moving over here to seeing I can do it because you just changed your belief to I can. And I want you to write this down on your calendar that says, I believe that I am manifesting and taking my business to a financial level that supports and sustains me. Write that down, I'm Jen. Writing it. Write that down. We're going to take a quick break on the Cornelia Stephanie show. We'll be right back. Don't hang up, Janet, because we're going to keep going. Hold on. We'll be right back. Mm-hmm. 
Hi, everybody. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, and today we're talking about manifesting. And I'm with Janet Hickox. And Janet, are you there? I'm here. So tell us what your new belief is again. Read it out loud so we can hear it again. I believe that I am manifesting, taking my business to the financial level that I want it to be at. Or and how, then I put this or something better. Okay, cool. And how does that feel for you right now? By you saying that, how does it feel? It feels, it feels good. I wonder if I'm still doubting it a little bit, but uh, to me, it's about, it, it feels good. It, it feels possible. There, there's the word. It feels possible. So if you have a choice, if you have a choice to take actions on a belief that says I can't to actually taking actions on a belief that says I can, which would you rather choose? I can. Okay, good. So Definitely. then as, as when you're then finding yourself in moments of doubt, will you then transcend that doubt and, and actually take action on you that, that you can? Um, yeah, absolutely. I, I want to share with you something that happened to me the other night. I woke up about three or so in the morning and I was just in a panic. And the first thoughts that were coming up as I woke up was my bills aren't going to get paid. I'm not going to have enough money to do it. And I just, it was, it was so striking to me that right in the waking moment, that was what was coming up. And I was tossing and turning with these thoughts that just kept you know, that barraging me. And finally I stopped and I went, wait a minute. I, I don't have to lay here and be the victim of these thoughts. I could put something else in there that I want to think about. So I changed in that moment to a thought that said, um, uh, it won't, I gave something for my mind to work on. I said, what would it be like if I had a million dollars? And that made me, of course, have to start thinking different things. Yeah. And in the meantime, I fall asleep. I fell back to sleep where before I was struggling with that thought. So I'm really, I'm really keen on the idea of being able to change the thought and act from a different place. So because, because you actually did it the other night when you were, you know, woken up in the middle of the night with that panic that's underneath. And right now with Mars, and Mercury retrograde, yeah. this is all of our subconscious stuff is coming up because like you, like I said earlier in the show, everything is happening on inside of the physical body first with your mental body and with your Mars taking action. But the action has to happen on the inside first. So you being able to see to the negative limiting thoughts that you've always had about, I'm going to run out, I'm going to run out, I'm not going to make it, I'm not going to make it. It revealed itself to you and it's really happening because karmically, Janet, you're now clearing this ancestral programming from your past. And so I just want to congratulate you and honor you for seeing that, squashing that program, for calling into the show today and saying you want to move beyond it. And I can tell you right now, I have absolutely no doubt whatsoever that you will be a success and that you will make it. Because I can tell you that when women say I'm going to make this business a success. It's going to happen. And you are absolutely going to do it. And I have no doubt about it. The next thing that I want you to do right now is I want you to set a personal goal. Because I want you to come back on this show again. And I want you to tell us the success story of our manifesting this today. I want you to set a personal goal, a success goal that... Um, that is going to give us an action steps, three action steps of what you're going to be doing in order to, um, you know, have some income coming in right now. So that's like, um, you know, taking your program on a on a new course or uh, something like that. What would the goal be? Well, there's the second part of the thing that I was telling you about in the beginning here is that I know that the next step for me is to put together a course that I'm teaching on astrology. But I've got all the pieces in play, but I just haven't taken action on it. I don't know why. I just can't seem to organize myself around doing it maybe, or, or, or there is some unconscious 
slot there that stops me, I'll find anything else to do. I would rather wash the dishes and do the laundry than to sit down and write what I need to write for this, including the script for the videos that I would do, than to actually do that. Okay. And, I mean, how ridiculous. I, I, in my conscious mind, I know it's ridiculous, but I don't know what stops me. It's, it's that really my first action step. Yeah. And so it's really, it's really not a block, Janet. You actually have to make a conscious choice. It's not a block. It's just that you just said it. I would rather do the dishes than, um, than do the, than, um, do the program. And because prior to you doing that, you had a belief that it's not going to work, but you've since changed your And now when you come with that, I can't, I can't wait to get started and make that course a reality and um, see and tell a new story to be able to really manifest the, the, the income that you want to have with your coaching business and your uh, program, your astrology course. So um, being able to set that and, and, and make that goal a, a measurable goal. So that that's why I'm asking you. So the goal is for you to um, put on the calendar when you're going to have this um, program on your platform uh, done by, and then let's let's also put a date. So does that resonate? Ah, yes, it does. Um, as you were talking about this, I was thinking, yeah, you know, Janet, it is really just about this, you know, you're consciously blocking yourself. But when I, God, this one feels really heavy. When I, when I go to sit down to actually start the writing or start the videoing or, you know, get the outline done, the outline comes easily, then the writing doesn't. It's like there's, I just sit here for an hour, you know, staring at a blank page or staring at my, um, uh, computer screen, not getting anything done. So, yeah. It's, so that's it's, why it's, I say I would rather at least if I do the laundry or the dishes, I can see that there's success, right? There's something that gets done when I sit down to write or do this other thing. I just I block it out. I and stop, so I stop myself. Yeah, you stop yourself. You're the one that's stopping yourself, and and you're gonna you're gonna release that. And so everybody, I'm going to okay. give you, I'm going to give everybody a mantra now that, that, that is for everybody to use in, in clearing these old programs. Cause you're clearing habitual programs. I mean, I know you personally, uh, Janet, so I know that, um, you haven't been, um, you haven't even been here in the last month or so been actually working on this. And so if you actually set a goal on your calendar and you put it on your calendar and you're going to sit down in this new dawn in this new day that you can uh, create a different story. And so um, that's, that's the goal that I want you to make that by in, in a month and a half from now, in two months from now, or however long you're going to give yourself, you will have your course put together on the platform that you want to put and um, okay. that you're, that you're going to take the action and that you can actually trust that. I'm going to give myself a date of September 15th. Good. That's an arbitrary date, but it's a month and a half. And I know it's possible. I know it's possible. And I just wrote myself out a new mantra or um, I don't even know what else you would call it, but I want to be a success story. That's what I wrote. When we were That's awesome. Commercial. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's, a, that's an awesome one. I want to be a success story. I love that. And I want you to write this down too. And I want everybody to write this down. Uh, this is really powerful. I now release all that no longer serves me. I now release all that no, that longer, no serves longer serves me. I release and I surrender and let go of all that is no longer part of my new life. I release and surrender and let go of all that is no longer part of my new life. I'm not done. I'm open to receive all the goodness. I open wide to all the nourishing love and nourishing light coming my way. I'm going to say that again. I'm open to receive all the goodness. I open wide to all the nourishing love and nourishing light 
coming my way. And here's the last one, and this is a big one. I'm in alignment with my heart's desire and my soul's mm. purpose. And my soul's purpose. Oh. oh, that's awesome. I'm in alignment with my heart's desire and my soul's purpose. When you say these mantras, your physical body, your mental body, your emotional body, your spiritual body, and your physical body all hear your command. They hear it. And what you're doing by speaking this, I call it blueprinting. A lot of people call it affirmations or saying, saying mantras, but I call it literally blueprinting your new reality. You are creating your own blueprint with you as the authority, you according to your soul's blueprint, moving into alignment with your heart's desire. And by you speaking these mantras, everything in the universe has to rearrange itself in order to meet your new command. That's the truth. That's the absolute truth. And so in the old world, um, the sabotaging behavior, the habitual um, untruths, the um, ancestral programs of fear of failure and fear of success, they were all part of that. But it's not in your integrity in the new world, in the new paradigm, to live out that reality. It's not. It's in your integrity to be absolutely 100% successful. It's in your integrity to be absolutely thriving in your environment. So I'm, I'm going to just ask you to hold on for one more second, Janet. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Hi, everybody. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie show, and we're talking about manifesting. I'm talking to Janet Hickox. Janet, are you back? Yes, I am. Awesome. So how are you feeling right now about everything that we've cleared and talked about so far and the new steps that you're going to be taking forward? Honestly, I feel very energized and very uh, positive, uh, hopeful even, I guess is a word I could use. Like, I feel like something shifted within me, especially with that last line of the mantra that you gave us with the, uh, I'm in alignment with my heart's desire and my soul's purpose. Something about that line just kind of, I don't know, created, uh, created an opening for me, I think. Yeah. And you know what, Janet, it's an absolute alignment that, um, that you are thriving and that you are a success. So, uh, that's that is in alignment, and it is in the in the will of the divine that you move into that vibration. But you have to emit and be that vibration. Just the other day, when I was um, writing up the show, uh, you know Abraham, right? You know uh, Abraham messages, yeah. right? I, I wrote this down yeah. because I thought this was powerful for me to share on the show today for everybody. Listen to this. So uh, it says. We would like you to release the word achieve or earn from your vocabulary and from your understanding altogether. And we would like you to replace those words with the word allowing. You're wanting to allow your well being, not achieve it. It's not something that you need to earn. All you have to do is decide what it is that you would like to experience and then allow it in in order to achieve it. It isn't something that you have to struggle for or um, or uh, it isn't something that you have to struggle for. You are all worthy beings and you are deserving of this well-being. So your business being a thriving, successful business um, is now the reality of what it is that you're creating. And it start it's starting here now. And so from this moment forward, you're going to be taking powerful action steps. But all of it had to happen first on the inside of your physical body. And I think that's why all these retrogrades are happening for, for all of us, so that everything can be rearranged inside and that you can be a matching vibration for that thriving business that you're going to be creating. Right. I get it. So get it. 
right? Because again, you have to move into um, that state of allowing and allowing your allowing the universe to shower you with financial abundance, to allow the universe to shower your reality with financial abundance and uh, uh, you know uh, thriving clients and people that you're going to be supporting and helping and feel the vibration of that. That absolutely is your feel good, and so. When, when you're, you know, when you're finding yourself where you're sitting there and you, you don't feel like you can take action, take baby steps and write one paragraph, but do something to continue on busting through that old paradigm because really that's all it is. But it's asking you to, to really step up and uh, manifest what's in your heart's desire. That's, that's really good advice. Even just the one paragraph is something rather than nothing. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, is there anything else that um, that you would like to um, talk about before I know that you've got to uh, get off the sh- get off the uh, get off the air? Yeah. Um, no, I I think this is really good, and um, I, I'm excited. I'm 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 almost gone because. <laughs> There's nothing new here, right? Say that again. No, I didn't hear you. What were you saying? There's something what? Oh, I said, I said there's there's nothing really new here, and you know this is all stuff we know that we've heard, or at least I have. Um, I think this piece is the part that really got me in the past. Allowing, you know, I feel like there's something you have to do, achieve, or earn. Instead of allowing, it feels so much more easy to allow than it has to have to be earned, and I like that. Exactly. If you're if you're allowing your financial abundance, if you're allowing um, you to take action on the 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 things that bring you joy, putting this astrology program together is something that you should be enjoying doing. Because you love it. You love teaching astrology. And that's something that you should in, in, enjoy taking action on because you're being creative. Yeah. For some reason, I'm not Seems hearing so you funny. that well. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I know I got dropped earlier. Can you hear me better now? Oh, yeah. This is much better. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. let's let's re- with the let's let's kind of summarize up really quick um, on 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 uh, what, what your new what your new action steps is going forward. Okay, go ahead. Uh, my new action step going forward is to actually work on the course that I've been totally messing around with for a year, um, in order to cause my business. To thrive, or to allow my business to thrive, is the next step, and I knew it. I know it is. So by nine fifteen, I'm going to have the first module of that program launched. Wonderful, wonderful. And when when um, when you have that that complete, I'd love you to call into the show and um, let us know that your program is now launched. So we can let the listeners know where they can go and sign up for this astrology course if they're interested in learning about astrology. Awesome. Thank awesome. You. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Janet, it's been wonderful having you on the show today. I know that you're going to be a thriving success because that is the reality of what it is that you're creating. I believe in you and I know that you will do it. So thank you so much for doing the good work for all of us and for saying yes to you and for saying yes to allowing. Well, thank you, Cornelia. This, the work that you're doing is so important and I really value what you say and I am actually going to take the steps that I need to do here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Be well, Janet. All right. Take care. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.
So in, anyway, this is this is a typical, you know, kind of thing that a lot of people um, go through with uh, with with their manifesting abilities, right? Because we're all ready to build the new earth and to manifest all the goodness in our life, whether that's an, an entrepreneur. Uh, that's just getting ready to get started and, and start their business or you're manifesting a new relationship or um, you're manifesting a new job, whatever it is, or you're manifesting abundance. It, it really, or it may even be manifesting health, being, being in, in a healthy uh, vibrational state. So getting really clear on what it is that you want and changing your belief, changing your story and what it is that you think about it is really important. Um, the easiest way to change a belief is to write it out on a piece of paper. I believe, whatever that is, whether it's negative or positive. So, and when it's, and when it's a negative belief, that's, that's the energy of what it is that we're manifesting. So it's important that you write it out and that you actually see it. And then after that, look at that belief and ask yourself, is that really true? And how would you, how would you feel? Could you consider the opposite of that belief? And that really is as simple as that. And then when you, when you could consider it, then you're allowing yourself to move up into that higher vibrational way of that higher vibrational thought, of that higher vibrational belief. Because we create and manifest in our reality based on our beliefs. But we have to be a matching vibration to what it is that we believe. So it's really important that um, I used to teach the law of attraction back in the day about eight years ago or so. And one, one helpful tool is to make a contrast and clarity list. So on one side, write down all the things that you don't want. And on the other side, write down all the things that you do want. And then look at what it is that you do want and allow yourself to move into a vibrational way of allowing it to unfold and looking at to see if that's really true for you. So that's, that's, um, that's one way to get really clear and by all means, you know, stop sending mixed messages to the universe because the universe doesn't know, uh, what to, what to send you. You've been listening to the Cornelia Stephanie show, wake up to love your call to action. Tune in each week on transformation talk radio. Cornelia's joy is to engage others in practical ways, showing us how to live in the new earth in harmony with our true nature. For more information on Cornelia and her extraordinary work, or to listen to past shows, go to her website at corneliastephanie.com.